Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cholas the Sculptors. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or if it's Cholas or Cholas the Sculptors, but um, hopefully I'm somewhere in the ballpark there. Let us take you through a magical ride of history dating back by 1,000 years when the Chola Dynasty had established itself as the earliest empire of South India. Being one of the few longest ruling dynasties in the world, are you wondering what made the, this, this dynasty stand out exceptionally through time and culture? It is the military and economic power they held. All right, so, made in India, it says, um, designed in Switzerland, made in India. Your objective is to build the temple with stones and sculptures. During your turn, pick two stones from the bag, draw a builder card, draw a build card, Replace three or more stones of the same color. Build the temple. Sculpt on the stones. The player with the highest points wins the game. All right, well, let's take a look inside the box. Certainly a unique theme. All right. So a little bit of historical background, which is great. Sixty to ninety minutes, one to five players. Here is our rule book, our illustrated list of components. We've got more of our components here. The motive: you're a sculptor, must prove to be the best and be rewarded for it. You've got a basic game variant and the setup for that here. During your turn, you must perform only one of the actions below. Number one: pick randomly, pick two stones from the bag and put them in front of you. You can have a maximum of seven. Replace, return three or more stones of the same color and then pick the same number of stones from the bag. Draw, you can build one, draw one build card either from the face down stack or from the face up cards. Uh, and you have a maximum hand size of four. Or you can play a build card following the rules for building. And they give you some examples of the rules for building. How to calculate the points after you take the build action. Treasure tiles. Says the game end is triggered when there are six spaces or left on the temple structure after a build action. Gives you more and more examples there. And then you've got the expert game variant, which is going to obviously include a bit more, both components wise and rules wise. And they go into more detail about that. And then you've got some bonus cards, more explanation on those. And then you've got the solo game here, the objective and the setup and how the game plays. All right, take a look here. We've got a very lovely looking bag here, quite ornate. I'm trying to see where the, there we go. Yeah, that's a very nice drawstring bag here. We've got a bunch of tiles pre-punched already. I'm going to kind of just show you some of these. Okay, you can see they are shiny. We've got some smaller bits and pieces. You can kind of see there. Got a number of puzzly type pieces that you're going to be putting together to kind of create a frame. More tiles. Look to be kind of like some player boards. I'm assuming player boards. All right. Yet more tiles. Kind of get a sense for those. Save the cards here for a minute. This looks like this is a kind of a little story coloring book too. My goodness, that's kind of cool.
more boards that are kind of, I think, made up to kind of create that pattern. Maybe something along these lines. You kind of see that there. And then a kind of a score marker with what looks to be kind of a bit of a play rate on there for the two to five side and for the solo side. Finally, let's take a look at this deck of cards. They are square cards. They've got, believe it or not, a bit of a, like a textured back. They've got a raised textured back, which is unique and front. Actually, these cards are completely uh, textured on both sides. Get an idea, just some basic geometric shapes here, squares, essentially, <laughs> in different patterns. And then you've got those specific cards. All right, well, it's interesting. I, I'm, I'm increasingly um, amazed at the different areas of the world that we're seeing board games uh, being produced and and distributed from and designed in. And the impression I get at least is that this is a uh, game that is coming from India, which is quite cool as well. And again, a theme that you probably have not seen before exactly in this term. There you go. That is Colas or Tolas the Sculptors. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.